Broadcasting live from the Business Radio X studios in Atlanta, Georgia, it's time for Atlanta Business Radio. Brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top-rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com. Now, here's your host. Lee Cantor here, a very special episode of GSU ENI Radio. Uh, today on the show, we have Abdullah Jure with Find. Welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. Well, I'm so excited to learn what you're up to. Tell us a little bit about Find. How are you serving folks? Yeah, so uh, for the people who don't already know what Find is, it is a B2B social networking platform where through the use of pictures, videos, comments, and ratings, we can all share our best one-of-a-kind locations, what we like to call hidden gems. So what's the, how'd, the, how'd this idea come about? What was the genesis of the idea? Yeah, um, so there is, there's a couple of different stories that kind of weave together to make uh, this story come alive. Uh, the most prominent one would be Um, I have some relatives in Paris and I went to go see them one summer. And for me, I was able to explore the city and stuff because I was there for a month, you know, while they're at work and everything. And I got to discover all these just very unique experiences and very hole in the wall places. But the issue was when I wanted to show them my experience and have them go there too, um, there was no platform that was, that had a solution like that. Right. And, um, when I came back home, there was, I noticed so many people around me were living in Atlanta for years, but they were still struggling to figure out where to go and what to do to enjoy themselves. Uh, So once I saw these kind of two things happen, I was like, okay, well, I might be the one that needs to make something uh, or do something about this. So, yeah, that was kind of the start of Find. So when you're um, kind of creating these kind of um, experiences for folks, how do you kind of vet them to make sure that just because you like them, other people will like them as well? Yes, yeah, great question. So um, best way I can answer that is kind of like what you see on your Facebook or Instagram feed, right? So that content, Facebook is not uh, creating themselves to give to you, right? Those are your friends on the platform making it what it is. So essentially here, it's the same exact concept. Uh, the places that you're viewing are from the people who you're friends with on the platform. So it's to everybody's uh, value added that everybody posts great locations and great experiences. And the more that people do that, then kind of the app gets smarter and then you're going to be able to find those hole in the wall gems. Exactly. You got it. Yep. It'll get, um, eventually we'll have some kind of algorithm that will even show you places that you didn't even know you would love. And you'll end up loving those places just as the same as the ones you thought you would. So that's what we're gearing towards. Now, is this your first tech startup? Uh, yes, it is. First, this is a uh, quote unquote, uh, yeah, that's the best way to put it. The first one. Yep. Now, um, since you'd never been a founder before, was this a kind of difficult, is this how you saw the kind of your career evolving or did you think, Oh, I'm going to go to school and I'll get a job and that'll be that. And this, I don't know if this is I I would assume in a positive way has uh, at least derailed that a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Completely derailed it. Um, completely. Um, so for me, I, I got my exercise science degree and the plan was to get my doctor in physical therapy school. And so once I got uh, some time after school, um, when I got finished, I realized that my passion ran out for uh, the healthcare field. And so I was like, man, I need to I need to think about something. I need to figure something out. So after praying on it and brainstorming a lot, uh, this kind of entrepreneurial pathway was for me, something where I felt like I could dive uh, all of my efforts into and still love what I'm doing in the process of it. Now, are you are you the technologist on the team or did you have to find one? I had to find one. Um, and so as I was finding one, I became more and more tech savvy, right? Um, so I kind of messed around with uh, different boot camps on Udemy, for example, and now I can, you know, know what code is and what's going on. Um, 
and then I can do a little bit of coding myself. But um, I'm also in my master information systems program at uh, State as well. So that ties in the business side to the technology side of things. So definitely not the expertise in the company as far as the technology piece, but I definitely have a very, very good understanding of it. Now, any advice for other founders out there when it comes to finding a technology partner uh, on the team? How did you go about doing that? That seems like, you know, that's kind of important, right? If you're building a tech startup. Yeah, no, it's, that's, a, that's a great point. It definitely is. Um, just like anything else, I think even outside of their knowledge and outside of what they're capable of doing, it has to be more so that the person that you're working with, if you can see that being a long-term relationship and what i mean by that is you know your partners become the people that you speak to more than anybody else literally more than your fam family more than your close friends um so it has to be somebody that you can not only see yourself in a professional setting with but somebody that you can actually personally see yourself uh, being around for long periods of time right and second to how does that person uh kind of go about adversity and how do you guys talk about conflicts are the most important thing versus uh, what they're able to do uh, for the company. So how did you uh, find this person? Yeah. So uh, at first for me, it was um, kind of uh, figuring out the things we needed to and the journey eventually led to, I contacted a friend of mine uh, from, I've known him forever. We went to middle school and high school together actually. And he got me in contact with somebody else that he felt was uh, capable of, you know, helping out uh, with what I'm trying to uh, do. And so that's kind of what led us to meeting each other. And um, eventually that person in particular also has their own uh, set of stuff going on in their place. So they did have to walk away from the company, but we've been able to fill in our technology gap uh through other developers and through other people. Wow, exciting time. Congratulations. That's a big milestone to be able to get that part right. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Now, how did you find out about the Main Street program and um, and how has it been? Yeah, um, it's been amazing. Um, I'm very, very, very glad that we're in it. Um, I found out about it through uh, Georgia State's website uh, soon after I graduated. And so I actually applied for it last year for us to get in and we didn't get in. So this year it felt like all the pieces were clicking together and that, you know, this is the year that God planned for us to be a part of it, a part of this cohort. And um, it's been great in the sense that any kind of plans that we want to execute, we can have feedback from uh, the Main Street mentors and all the other uh, uh, businesses in the cohort to kind of you know, get what they would think about the execution and then sit down and we think about it ourselves and then we can adjust it accordingly and have an even more successful uh, way of going about it. So has there been any part of the uh, process thus far that's been most beneficial? Uh, I would definitely say our, um, our sessions, right? So we, through the six-month program, we have different sessions where we're talking uh, legal or excuse me, where we're getting legal advice, where we're getting product market fit advice, uh, accounting advice, just everything to really grow a business. So this for me, anything that I haven't learned on my own or anything that I haven't learned in the classroom is also plugging in those holes. So this is kind of to wrap things up as far as knowledge wise, um, been very beneficial. So have you been enjoying the process? This is, uh, it's a different kind of challenge, right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And me, I, I grew up playing sports. So like kind of that competitive edge or that kind of, man, I really don't feel like doing this as far as like certain things when it comes to the business. But it's like, no, I know the end goal and I know what I want to achieve. So then you, you're able to kind of push yourself uh, to do the things you don't want because when it comes time to do the things you actually do as far as the business, those are a lot easier, you know? So what's next? Um, and what do you need and how can we help? Yeah, absolutely. Um, the next few kind of steps that we're taking is we learned a lot from our MVP. 
uh, we garnered a thousand users organically on the platform and more than 800 gems were posted. Uh, so through all that feedback and the things we learned in that MVP, we're taking into the full version of the platform. And uh, we're hoping to get that launched and out there in the next uh, couple months. And um, our biggest challenge thus far has been really uh, raising funding. So uh, with the Main Street program, we're able to get a grant, which was our first external funding and has been a blessing. Um, and we also got second place in our first pitch competition. So that uh, added on to some of our grant money. So really, we're just looking for uh, funding to really do what we want to do because we've done so much with so little. So only imagine when we get the right uh, capital to to get this thing really going. And if somebody wants to learn more about the app or maybe get a hold of you, what is the coordinates? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my email is abdule at thefindapp.com. And that's A as an apple, B as in boy, D as in dog, O-U-L-A-Y-E at thefindapp.com, T-H-E-F-I-N-D-A-P-P.com. And then uh, also our website, thefindapp.com is amazing. And then uh, last but not least will be our Instagram, uh, thefindapp underscore. All right. Well, congratulations on all the momentum. And um, thank you so much for sharing your story today. You're doing important work and we appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me. All right. This is Lee Cantor. We'll see you all next time on GSU ENI Radio. Today's episode of Atlanta Business Radio is brought to you by OnPay. Built in Atlanta, OnPay is the top rated payroll and HR software anywhere. Get one month free at OnPay.com.